Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Punk Rock Review, home of a bunch of crap, also the home of a bunch of crap. You're welcome. Give us money. Anyhow, yeah, moving straight into it today. Today we're going to be talking about a product that's been on the market for however long it's been on the market for. Who cares? It doesn't matter. But of course, today we are talking about the one and only Pumpkin Munchkin. That's right, Pumpkin Munchkin. This is one of those creamers that you can find for your coffees in the morning and whatnot. This one comes from one of the iterations of flavors that Dunkin' Donut brings to the market. That's right. So... Dunkin' Donuts, Creamer, uh, Pumpkin Munchkin, what can be said about this stuff? Well, man, uh, let's just be honest from the get-go. Uh, if we had it over to do again and we were telling our ma to get a Creamer, we would definitely tell her, don't get that Pumpkin Munchkin Creamer. Uh, it does not have any of the aspects of Pumpkin or of Dunkin' that we actually like to consume or anything like that. Now, that being said, we've actually grown fairly, uh, you know, uh, uh, fond of the different pumpkin iterations that have come out during the festive kind of fall season and whatnot. The different pumpkin spice, uh, you know, kind of uh, creamers that you can get from Great Value or Coffee Mate or, uh, you know, any of those, uh, you know, kind of companies and such like that. And at the same time, We've had the actual creamer, man, uh, you know, I think it was like the extra, extra sweet or something. I don't know. It doesn't matter. We've had Dunkin' Creamers, man, that we really appreciate, and we loves us a good Dunkin' Coffee or whatever. However, man, this Pumpkin Munchkin, I don't know what aspect of it is that is just thrown off. A, it's definitely not pumpkin-y enough. It needs more pumpkin injection in that shit. Uh, B, man, we think, now this is just us thinking, we think that it's the amount of sugar, man, because this has with, uh, you know, cream and sh real cream and sugar in it and such, uh, with the amount of sugar that's in here, something's off. For us, we think it's too much sugar in there, but it very well could be us just kind of saying, eh, maybe it's not enough sugar in there. But for us, it's probably there's too much sugar in there, not enough pumpkin flavor to savor. So if you want that kind of burst of pumpkin-y goodness and whatnot, you might want to go and another route. You might want to go Great Value or, uh, you know, uh, Coffee Mate or any of those, uh, you know, kind of companies and such and avoid this one because it definitely, uh, you know, doesn't have the pumpkin-y goodness come across on our palate, uh, which means that eh, it probably won't on yours too. Who cares? It doesn't matter. Anyhow, get it, don't get it. We don't care. We just want your money. So give us money. Uh, Duncan, you know what? <laughs> You pay us probably $13,000, you might be able to refresh our memory of how great this product actually is. Right now, we feel it's actually not that good. Uh, but yeah, I mean, if you refresh us kind of financially, that might remind us that this is an awesome product and everyone should get it on a regular basis, including us. We will choke this garbage down if you pay us enough money or uh, help us remember how good it actually is because we're not having great memories of it now. It's not that good. So, there you go. Uh, Dunkin, uh, Pumpkin, Munchkin, Creamer. What can be said about this stuff? Uh, it gets a uh, good old-fashioned uh, N for no thank you. Uh, we'll have something entirely different that's not that stuff. Uh, because that stuff's not good. So, there you go. Try it, don't try it. We don't care. We just want your money. So, give us money. Have a good one. You probably didn't. We'll catch you next time. Probably won't.